Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to take a look at the map art in 3D and materials in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to use this typo as a reference. I'm going to unite it. And we got the 3D and materials right here. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and select here the 3D and materials. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the inflate. I'm going to activate the ray tracing. So now it has some nice shading and lighting. I'm going to rotate it. And as you can see, this thing is only half. So what I'm going to do is decrease the depth to zero and make sure to check inflate both sides. You also have this perspective that I didn't have before. And now we're going to create some patterns. I'm going to select the rectangle create a line like this. I'm going to press and hold out to drag it down. Also press shift to isolate and I'm going to make this white. I'm going to select both right click group, press and hold out to drag it down. Also press shift and isolate. Make sure to intersect here. Press control D to duplicate them. Please select all of it. Right click group. I'm going to press and hold shift, rotate it. And now we're going to go to the symbols. If you don't have the symbol, go, go to windows and select the symbols. All you need to do is drag and drop the symbols in here. You can rename it, click OK. And now you can delete the pattern. Now we're going to select the text. And now we're going to go back to the 3D materials, go to the materials. And here we got a nice step going on, which is called the graphics. And these are the symbols that we have. And this is the one that we uploaded. So click on it and look at that. It's going to place the pattern on the text. It's going to create a circle around where basically you can pull it and it's going to increase the pattern, which is kind of weird because it's uh, I cannot uh, replace the pattern however I want. So this is the max I could do. All right, now we're going to scroll down and as you can see, we got the main parameters. So right now it's on 400. With this, you can scale down or scale up the pattern. And here we got the rotate also. You can do some rotation. This is how it looks so far. I hope in the future they're going to update this uh, 3D materials to more uh, flexible settings here. And this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.